we're going out to the garden, the nature's garden. We're going to go out there and celebrate the forageable community. There's also a larger community that includes all the plants and animals, as the Native Americans say, all our relations, and we're a part of it all. And the more we can participate and engage ourselves in the natural world, the more we realize who we really are. So let's go out there and see what we can find. Come on. Look at this. A little patch of jewel weed. Look, the reason they call it jewel weed, one of the reasons, is because the leaves are unwettable, so the water beads up, so they glisten like little jewels in the light. And one of the other names for the plant is touch me not, <clears throat> because the seed pods, when they get ripe, are explosive. And when you touch them, they explode. And, and actually the scientific name of the plant is impatience, because they're impatient. Some of you might say, oh, that I have impatience on my patio. Well, that's actually a different species of the same genus of plants as the jewelweed. Jewelweed is often a great remedy for poison ivy, and the hummingbirds love it. You see right back at the very back end of the, of the, of the flower, they have a little nectar gland, and those, those, those hummingbirds will use the, if you hang around a jewelweed patch for an hour or so, almost any time in the summertime, you'll see a hummingbird come through and work every one of the flowers. So we talked about jewelweed being uh, named jewelweed because it, the leaves are unwettable and the little droplets of dew stick on it. But what's really fun about jewelweed is you can put it in the water. Because the leaves are unwettable, they look like they're coated with silver. And there's actually microscopic hairs. Can you see that silvery color? And what's amazing, then you pull it out of the water and look, hardly even wet. The jewelweed is kind of succulent and juicy. So you can just kind of crush the leaves up, make it into like a poultice. I mean, if you really want to be serious, you could take it and put it in your blender, blend it up into a, into a, into a just a, a mass puree and apply it to any skin irritations, particularly poison ivy. It can often be a good remedy. Jewelweed, what a great plant, huh? Marvelous and magical. Yes, sirree, it's a true jewel.